Hello! I'm Goblin, and I hate doing introductions. <laughs> Is that a pun? Because I'm gonna give you an introduction to the rationality scene. I'm not the best source for what rationality is all about, but I've been on the scene for about a decade now, which probably makes me a better source of information than some guy who interviewed a few people for his gossip column. Pro tip, capitalizing the word rationality makes you look like a boomer. A rationalist isn't a member of a club or a religion or an ideology. A rationalist is a member of a scene. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be using the word rat interchangeably with rationalist, for reasons. Anyway, have you ever heard of goths? Yeah, it's exactly like that. Except where goths listen to Bauhaus and wear lots of black, rationalists read blogs like Slate Star Codex and Less Wrong and tend to wear hoodies, I guess, because most of them are programmers. Like members of any scene, we spend a lot of time arguing about what the scene is actually about and where our subculture ends and somebody else's subculture begins. No one can agree whether post-rats and meta-rats and crit-rats and rat-adjacents are technically rationalists. Personally, I think all of them are part of the scene and the differences only matter internally. I'm even gonna lump in Sneer Club, rationality's answer to K-pop's anti-fans, because let's face it, you guys spend as much time as we do reading rationalist blogs. If you're interested in reading or hate reading any rationalist blogs, I'll post some in the links below. If you hate reading as much as I do, I will absolutely shill my own channel and link my sexy reading of one of the iconic rationalist blog posts also in the description below. If for some reason you don't want to be aroused, I'll link a legitimate audiobook in the description below as well. And I'll judge you. If you want a clear description of the rat scene than just like people who are really into these blogs in particular, well, plenty of people have written about that too. Here's some key quotes from Ortho Orthonormal's recent post on the topic. I'm never going to get that right the first time. <laughs> a rationalist, in the sense of this particular community, is someone who is trying to build and update a unified probabilistic model of how the entire world works, and trying to use that model to make predictions and decisions. I'm too dumb for that definition, but it sounds right. Oh. <laughs> uh, another quote from Orthonormalist. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> Being a rationalist isn't about any specific set of conclusions. It's not about being an effective altruist or a utilitarian or even an atheist. It's about whether one is trying to do that thing or not, even if one is doing a terrible job of it. Ortho, ortho normal lists two key traits that rationalists have in common. Truth seeking and taking weird ideas seriously. I'd add to that that the goal of every rationalist I can remember having interacted with is to do good. Okay, as you may have guessed, we are no longer lumping in Sneer Club. What stems from these three things is a lot of really earnest attempts not to let social instincts get in the way. In normal social situations, you score points by mostly agreeing with everybody around you. The more you all agree, the better. In rationalist circles, you score social points by doing things like admitting when you've changed your mind. <laughs> yes, it's still about social points, we are well aware of that, but we just try to notice that it's happening, and try to minimize it as much as possible. Most importantly, we try not to let our social instincts make us cruel or stupid. I think orthonormal's dead on when they say that it isn't about any specific set of conclusions. You can find people with a pretty wide range of ideologies among rationalists, most of them trying really hard not to be ideological. Some rationalists even have problematic beliefs. Yes, yes they do. Some goths also enjoy pop music. What unifies them isn't some set of rules about what opinions to have, it's just that some people like a lot of the same shit. Like that one Harry Potter fanfic. There are definitely some common traits though. Mostly autistic ones. And I think most critics of rationalism just don't understand that. They see things like Isla's tweet about bestiality, bestiality, how do you pronounce that? Whatever. And they read between the lines and they go, oh, I see, she wants to f dogs. No. When you're interacting with a rationalist, trying to read between the lines is the intellectual equivalent of zooming in on stills of Hillary Clinton blinking, trying to catch her little lizard membrane flicking over her eye. If rationalists believe something, they will just say the thing, probably using a lot of words because they're trying very, very hard to be as clear and precise as possible. 
for any fellow rationalists watching, trying to interact this way with somebody who doesn't know and trust you already is the intellectual equivalent of wearing a kick me sign and walking down a hallway full of really enthusiastic karate students. Which personally, I'm fine with. But then, I'm literally autistic. But I think that's what Zero HP Lovecraft was trying to get at when he described rationalists as quakas around the time we first found out that the New York Times article was going to be happening. I am not a fan of Zero HP, but his overview of rationalism is actually pretty accurate. Rationalists just tend to be really nice and trusting people who are doing their absolute best. We're open to ideas and we're open to pretty much anybody who could possibly want to talk to us for some reason. And that tends to get some of us in trouble. And I guess my message to anybody who has a problem with this is... If you have any questions or want any elaboration or whatever, then just uh, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll try to address it. Maybe in another video? Okay, I did it.